Hello all and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chandramani Pandey and today we are going to talk about device registration and hardware hash. So in the last module, we talked about traditional versus modern way to configure a device and comparison. What is Windows Autopilot, key technology used in Windows Autopilot, how it works, Windows Autopilot benefit, its requirement and high level process flow. We also talked about Windows Autopilot deployment profile as well as deployment scenario, Autopilot deployment tasks and responsible team and enrollment status page and phases. In this module, we will be discussing about the device registration, hardware hash, will decode the hardware hash, device registration ways and OME registration as well as commonly available OME and their services, cloud service provider registration, automatic registration and then last we will talk about the manual registration and the way we can extract the hardware hash from the existing devices. Let's talk about the device registration. So device registration is the very first step in Windows Autopilot device registration happen when a device hardware hash is associated with windows autopilot service the process can be automated for new enterprise devices manufactured by oems that are windows autopilot partners before deploying a device using windows autopilot device must be registered with windows autopilot deployment services for successful device registration requires two process to complete the device unique hardware identity also known as hardware has is captured and uploaded in uploaded to the autopilot services and the device is associated to an azure tenant id when we registered an autopilot device it automatically creates an object azure ad object the autopilot deployment process needs that object to identify the device before the user sign in if we delete this de object the device can fail to enroll through autopilot if the device is registered and not enroll after 180 days we will need to re-register the device to complete a successful deployment once a device is registered in autopilot and if a profile is not assigned it will receive the default autopilot profile if we do not want to want a device to go through autopilot we must remove the autopilot registration now let's discuss about the hardware hash a device hardware hash is a string of numbers and letters generated by a computer which contains information about the device for windows autopilot this hardware hash should be exactly 4096 character long to identify a device with Windows Autopilot, the device unique hardware hash must be captured and uploaded to the services. This step is ideally done by the hardware vendor like original equipment manufacturer, reseller or distributor. The hardware vendor automatically associating the device with an organization. It's also possible to do identify a device with a harvesting process that collects the device hardware hash from within a running windows installation the hardware hash contains detail about the device such as manufacturer model device serial number hard disk serial number details about when the hard id was generated and many other attributes that can be used to uniquely identify the device the hardware hash changes each time it's generated because it includes detail about when it was generated. When the Windows Autopilot deployment service attempts to match a device, it considered these changes. It also considered large changes such as new hard disk and but and but is still able to match successfully. But large changes to the hardware such as motherboard replacement would not match so a new hardware hash need to be generated and uploaded in Intune portal now let's see how we can decode the hardware hash so oa 3.0 tool is used to decode a hardware hash into its component where o stands for original equipment manufacturer also known as oem 
A stands for activation and 3.0 is the EXE version. The OA 3.0 tool is a part of Windows Assessment and Deployment Toolkit also known as Windows ADK. The OA 3.0 tool creates the hardware association that joins a single Microsoft issued Windows product key to a single computer. While decoding the hardware hash, we need to use a switch called decode hardware hash to extract the information about the hardware. Now let's see how we can decode the hardware hash. We first need to extract the hardware hash. We can run some PowerShell commands to extract the hardware hash. Once we have the hardware hash with the help of OEM 3.0 tool, we can decode it. Now let's see how we can decode the hardware hash. So to decode the hardware hash, we need two things. The first thing is the hardware hash and the second thing is OA 3.0 tool. So now let's see how we can extract the hardware hash. So I am on client machine. I am going to extract the hardware hash by going to access work and school and then I am going to export the management log files. In that log files, I'll get the hardware hash and the location of that log file is is under under C drive. We have a user and then uh, public under public. We have a document public document folder inside this. We have a MDM diagnostic report and then I'm going to open it with Windows Explorer and uh, then this is the hardware hash I want. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to save it on my desktop. Now I have a hardware hash. Okay. And let me show you by opening a notepad file. So basically I need these information. Let me wrap this also. So I need these information to find what is there in that this hardware hash okay now let's see how we can download the OA 3.0 tool so as I mentioned I told you that this OA 3.0 tool is a part of ADK and I'm going to download the ADK version download the ADK uh, download and install the ADK and then let's see what version we have okay uh, okay ADK ADK Windows 11 and okay. ADK. Uh, we download Windows ADK. Other ADK downloads and then I'm going to download uh, Windows ADK for Windows 10 version for 10. Okay. I'm going to download this. Now it's ADK is downloaded. I'm going to open it and I'm going to install it. Mm, I'm going to install it under program file x86 windows kit and then 10 folder. Okay. When I'm going to install it, I'm not going to send any data next and then going to accept the license. Okay. okay so what i all need i need just uh deployment tools okay so that that's all i need i'm going to install it and once this is done so i know this location of this file is under program x86 windows program x86 then we have a folder yet not created okay just wait for a minute while it's still installing the windows deployment kit folder is created under this we have a windows 10 i don't have anything here 
I mean, I'm looking for the path and the path of that is under deployment kit. Then we don't have anything. We think that is under deployment tools. Okay. That is in the deployment tools under AMD 64. I have licensing folder and in the licensing five folder, I have two version OA 2.0 and OA 3.0. So I'm to going to copy this folder. Sorry, act exe and then save it in my desktop. Now I'm going to run the PowerShell sorry, command prompt CMD with admin rights run as administrator. I'm going to access this file cd dollar is okay, windows and then desktop okay now i have to run some commands so let me create that command i need this tool set i need this entire hardware hash information starting from there copy create is note add file and then i'm going to save it here so that we will wrap it also and then then i have to type here this command line and then remove it okay and last i have to type paste and select all copy and then run this command here i am going to run this command let's see if it is Okay, I'm going to run this command. Now it's executed, and the path I uh, given is the C drive root. Let's see, I have some. Okay, now I have a file called decode hash, and when I'm opening this, I'm getting the whatever there in my uh, hardware hash. So this is OEM activation tool 3.0, and then the version is that the decoding hardware hash and then this is the hardware inventory okay the tool version hardware inventory version tool build os type os cpu architecture then we have os build os system type os local type process model processor package processor thread processor core SMBIOS RAM error count, SMBIOS RAM slot, SMBIOS RAM error correction, and all these total physical RAM, SMS, SMBIOS firmware vendor. So the with the help of these multiple information, this hardware is composed of, and by running this OA 3.0 tool, we can easily see that what is there in the hardware hash. So that's all why I want to show you how to extract the hardware hash and whenever there is a change in the uh, component or there is a change in the uh, uh, motherboard then some of the component here in this uh, hardware hash value is going to change and that's why when when there is a major change like hardware um, sorry motherboard change then we need to re-upload the hardware hash with latest information. Now let's talk about who all can register a device in windows autopilot service so oem can register a device in windows autopilot service in bulk as well as the at the registered cloud service provider can also register the device in azure uh, autopilot service in bulk as well as we can enable a automatic registration as well as a manual registration is another way to extract the hardware hash and upload in uh, autopilot service via uh, intune portal so oem can register a device via oem apis or partner center portal 
दे कैन रजिस्टर डिवाइस आइदर यूजिंग हार्डवेयर हैश ओनली और प्रोडक्ट की ओनली और हार्डवेयर हैश प्लस प्रोडक्ट की और हार्डवेयर हैश प्लस सीरियल नंबर और हार्डवेयर हैश प्लस प्रोडक्ट की प्लस सीरियल नंबर और सीरियल नंबर प्लस ओ ई एम मैनुफैक्चर नेम प्लस मॉडल नेम सो वेन ओ ई एम इज गोइंग टू रजिस्टर अ डिवाइस इन ऑटो पायलट सर्विस दे हैव ए मैनी ऑप्शन बट द मोस्ट प्रिफर्ड ऑप्शन इज टू यूज द हार्डवेयर हैश प्लस प्रोडक्ट की एंड द सीरियल नंबर क्लाउड सर्विस प्रोवाइडर कैन ऑल्सो रजिस्टर दट द हार्डवेयर हैश ऑटो पायलट सर्विसेस ओके द रजिस्ट क्लाउड सर्विस प्रोवाइडर कुड बी अ रिसेलर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर रिटेलर्स और सर्विस प्रोवाइडर और आउटसाइडर दे कैन यूज आइदर ओ ई एम ए पी आईज और पार्टनर सेटर पोर्टल और इवन दे कैन यूज अ पावर शेल स्क्रिप्ट एज वेल एज दे कैन एक्सेस द इन टून कंसोल एंड एंड अपलोड द हार्डवेयर हैश द थर्ड ऑप्शन इज टू अपलोड द हार्डवेयर हैश टू अनेबल द ऑटोमेटिक एनरेलमेंट वेयर वी कैन अनेबल Uh, we can use the option convert all targeted device to autopilot and the then machine is going to send their hardware hash directly to the uh, autopilot services we can also use a manual registration either using a intune console or using intune powershell module let's talk about little bit more about the oem registration so when organization purchases device from oem the oem can automatically register the device within the windows autopilot services while the hardware hash also known as hardware id are generated as part of oem device manufacturing process these are not generally provided directly to the customer or csp partners instead the oem should register devices on the on the customer behalf in case where devices are being registered by csp partners oem may provide pkids information to those partner to support the device registration process they can register the device using oem apis oem is following device guideline for windows autopilot device which includes hardware and firmware best practice guideline for windows autopilot as well as software best practice guideline for windows autopilot windows autopilot is managed and maintained by microsoft this service provides the backend database that associates hardware hash with customer tenants when an oem register the device for a customer they are writing the data into the ms database and not directly to the customer tenant no permission to the customer tenant are granted or required for oem to register device on behalf of customer before an oem can register device for an organization the organization must grant the oem permission to do so the oem begin this process with approval granted by an azure ad global administrator from you from your organization oem can get customer authorization to register windows autopilot device on behalf of customer now let's talk about the commonly available oems and their services so currently in market there are many oems available who is supporting the windows autopilot the most common ones are microsoft dell lenovo hp samsung asus acer panasonic etc currently these oems are providing the device registration service in which they are directly uploading the hardware hash in azure autopilot services to support the autopilot they are also providing the clean images as well as the custom image as per the client requirement these oems are also providing the specific windows version like we if we want windows 10 specific version or windows 11 specific version we can ask from the oem and they are they are customizing and providing those specific version they are also providing the other option for customization like if we want to add some some 10 or 12 20 application within the base image they are providing that kind of support as well to add those additional application within the base image they are also providing the also providing and offering a white loop in addition to that they are also adding the group tag in the hardware hash which is helpful to create the device groups let's discuss about the registration via cloud service providers 
customers may purchase a device from resellers distributors or other partners as long as these resellers distributors and partners are part of cloud solution partners they too can register the device for the customer as the OE, as with oems csp partner must be granted permission to register device for an organization the csp partner request a relationship with the organization the organization global administrator approves that request after the approval csp partners add devices using partner center either directly through the website or via available apis that can automate the same task so these are the some commonly available csp providers in the market the third option is to register a device in autopilot service is using automatic registration we can automatically register an existing device if it is running a supported version of windows enroll in any mdm service such as intune a corporate device that is all not already registered with autopilot device that meets this requirement the mdm services ask can ask the device for the hardware hash after it has that hardware hash it can automatically register the device with windows autopilot using convert all targeted device to autopilot setting the fourth way to register a device in autopilot service is using manual registration ideally registration of a device with windows autopilot is performed by the oems resellers or distributor from which the device was purchased however it is also possible to register device manually we might need to register a device manually if the device was obtained from a non non participant device manufacturer or reseller the device is a virtual machine the device does not otherwise qualify for automatic registration such as an existing legacy device after the hardware hash have been captured from the existing device they can be uploaded in any of the following ways we can use microsoft intune this is the preferred mechanism for all the customer the microsoft endpoint manager admin center is used for intune device enrollment we can use partner center this is used by csp partners to register device on behalf of customers the third one is the microsoft 365 business or office 365 admin this is typically used by the small and medium businesses who manage their device using microsoft 365 business and the fourth one is microsoft store for business this table is showing what all we can do when we are uploading the hardware hash with different portals if we are using oem direct api portal then we can upload up to 1000 hardware hash at a time and but we cannot create or assign that deployment profiles and we have to use tuple or pki id also known as windows product id for uploading the hardware hash if we are using a partner center again we can we can upload up to 1000 hardware hash at a time and we can also create and assign that deployment profiles in that case also we need to upload that device information using either either using tuple or pki id when we are using intune portal to upload the hardware hash we can upload 500 hardware hash at a at a time and we can create and deploy we can create and assign that deployment profile also and we can use 4k hardware hash when we are using microsoft store for business we can upload 1000 hardware hash at a time and we can create and assign the profiles and in that case also we have to uh, use 4k hardware hash when we are using microsoft 365 business premium uh, portal then we can again use we can again upload the 5000 hardware hash at a time and we can create and assign the profile from there also and the applicable device id should be 4k hardware hash now let's discuss about the method to harvest a hardware hash from an existing device so if we have an existing device we have many options and based on the requirement we can extract the hardware hash the very first option is to use a powershell commands to extract the hardware hash by running the powershell command we can extract the hardware hash and then we can upload those hardware hash using microsoft intune portal if we are using microsoft endpoint configuration manager 
in that we in that case we already have an inbuilt report no report name is windows autopilot device information and we just need to import that report and then upload the hardware hash in into the portal the third option is to use the desktop uh, settings under account we have a option called export your management log files with the help of this we can export the hardware hash and then import in the intune portal the fourth option is to extract the hardware hash during out of box experience by using diagnostic page and that is only applicable currently for windows 11 devices so we need to export the logs and in that logs we can get the hardware hash now let's see how we can extract the hardware hash using PowerShell. To extract the hardware hash using PowerShell, we first need to run some PowerShell command on the Windows 10 or 11 devices. And then PowerShell command is extracting the hardware hash and we'll get that hardware hash in CSV format. We can open that hardware hash in Notepad file and see what all information we will get in that hardware hash. Basically, we will get the device serial number windows product id and the and the hardware hash then we have to upload this hardware hash in microsoft intune portal we need to go to microsoft intune portal and then there we need to go to the enrollment enroll device blade and under enroll device blade we have to go to the devices and then we after that we have to select the import option and then we need to upload the hardware hash and then once the hardware hash is uploaded we can see this under the device blade now let's see how we can extract the hardware hash using PowerShell. Right now I am on my client PC machine. I'm going to open PowerShell IC. I'm going to open the run as administrator. And then I'm going to type some commands to extract the hardware hash in a CSV format. Now I'm going to paste the command in the command prompt. And this command is going to extract the hardware hash using Windows Autopilot info scripts. I'm going to run this, select and run this. Now this script is going to create a folder in C drive and the folder name is SWID and in that folder we'll get the hardware hash. Now it's going to download the Autopilot script to extract the hardware hash and once the script is import, downloaded and machine is going to import that script and then going to execute that script to, uh, to extract the hardware hash. Now hardware hash is extracted. We can see that hardware hash in under C drive we have a folder called SWID and inside that we have a hardware hash. Let me open it in notepad file to show so you. So it will contain the device serial number, Windows product ID and the hardware hash. Now what we need to do, we need to import that uh, CSV file in into Autopilot services. So for that I am going to log into the endpoint manager admin center portal and okay now i'm going to type my password now under this plate i have to go to okay let me now I have to go to devices and then enroll devices in the inside this windows auto uh, in windows enrollment and then I have to go to devices and there I have to import this hardware csv file and the my file location is c drive under c drive there is a folder swid and this is the hardware hash I is showing that completed and I am going to upload it. Once this is done, we are able to see that hardware hash under this device blade. It's taking some time to upload the hardware hash. Now the device is imported successfully. I'm going to refresh it after some time. We'll be able to see it. 
now the hardware as is imported in windows autopilot services and now let's see how we can extract the hardware hash using configuration manager to extract the hardware hash using configuration manager we need to run a report called windows autopilot device information and download it once we are able to once we downloaded that report we'll get the hardware hash of all the devices available in in uh, configuration manager and then we can export those information and import in Intune portal at a time we can upload up to 500 hardware hash in Intune portal now let's see how we can extract the hardware hash using configuration manager in build report right now I'm on my console SESM server I'm going to open the Microsoft configuration manager console it's now loading now I'm going to, going to go under monitoring tab and then we have a section called reporting under reporting I am going to search for reports and then just type auto pilot we have a report called windows autopilot device information I'm going to run it now it's loading now we have a report where all the devices and their uh, their hardware hash is there in this report what we need to do we just need to extract the report we need to save it in whatever format you want i want to save it in excel okay or i want to save in csv okay and then extract this report under we save it the t drive and then now in DDI I have a report I need to let me open it and show you yeah, I don't have Excel let's see if I can yeah so all there are three three serial numbers okay three hardware as report in this okay. and then I have to go to Microsoft admin center portal and then upload this hardware hash now let's see how we can extract the hardware hash using management log files. Now let's see how we can extract the report using management tool. So for that we need to go to uh, uh, settings then account then uh, then access work on school. So I'm going to go for setting then account and then access work for school. Now I have an option called export your management log file I am going to click on this and export it now to checking the output of this extract we need to go to uh, we need to go to users and then under public we have uh, public down of documents under that we have a MDF diagnostic folder inside that we have it's a cabinet file I am going to extract it open with word okay, explorer and uh, this is my hardware hash I'm going to copy it and then save it to the same location and uh, now I'm going to open it with notepad files just to show you all okay now this is my hardware hash of this machine uh, this hardware is extracted based on the serial number windows product id and hardware hash now we have to go to the admin center portal and upload this hardware hash we can extract the hardware hash for windows 11 devices when the machine is in out of box experience window and add the windows autopilot diagnostic pages we just need to export the logs and we can get the hardware hash from that log i hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video